Okay, welcome back to Feed the Beast Ultimate Mod Pack. Couple of changes. Uh, in reviewing recording, I have taken some advice and moved the location of my mic. I'm uh, hoping you all can hear me. And I'm hoping I'm speaking loud enough to be heard. As I said, this is a learning experience. Um, I don't have a quality mic. What I have is a microphone and headset combination. And I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that is my cat Ace howling at me in the background. She is very perturbed at the moment because there are neighbors outside moving into their new apartment. Uh, I would shut her out of the room, however, I only have one room. So, that's not possible. <laughs> okay, changes otherwise. I have upgraded my storage system here. I have a copper, a iron, a silver, and a gold chest. As well as my crappy wooden one. I have upgraded my furnaces. I now have two slag furnaces. I don't know why. It just seemed like a good idea at the time and an iron furnace. Now an iron furnace will smelt faster than uh, one of these ones. However, I ran into something. I've been using lava buckets. Lots and lots of lava buckets to smelt stone. And one lava bucket in one of these furnaces will smelt a full stack. One lava bucket in an iron furnace will not. In fact it takes about three. Uh, I don't know why but I am very disappointed. These ones will not smelt stone. But I have lots of stone now. Uh, these only smelt ore. And only some of the ore. Mostly the iron ore. As you can see, I have many ore. But I have many more bars and blocks. Lots of blocks and dust. Lots of blocks and dust. In fact, let me make another block. Because what I've been doing, I moved the machines. And that piece of wood is just where the enchanting table is going to be. I moved the machines down here and actually I broke them so I had to rebuild them because I, I picked them up with a pick. Geothermal generator runs on lava. This is a good way to get rid of your lava. Compressor is what I've been using to make blocks. Electric furnace smelting the dust. Pulverizer crushing the ore. Extractor, I haven't had to use that yet. <coughs> These pieces of wood are for the chests that I will be making. I want to make more chests. Uh, I'm just going to make a block here. I have not gone back to the nether. That was my plan for today. To go back to the nether. Uh, and die. And of course I wanted you to see it. I wanted you to see me die. 
I figured you would like that. You are a very cruel audience. I don't know what this is for. Tiny pile. I don't know. I don't know. I know I can look up stuff on the wiki. But that's boring. Who wants to know what they're doing? Honestly. I found out I can use aluminum with the with the zycordite. Hmm, let's let's look that up again. Um not furnace brick. No, this was stone. Stone made the brick. Uh, is it in no. 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 It was something... Zycor... Yeah. Uh... Plate? Platform? Platform. Aluminum iron makes platforms. I don't know what those are for. Let's go ahead and make one anyway. Because we have aluminum iron. Let's just make one and see. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. Makes four of them. I don't know what it does. It does not appear to do anything. It looks pretty. Possibly I will build something out of these later. Who knows? Okay, I'm back. Uh, all the pretty ore. Did some mining. Got some more iron. And I thought I would demonstrate my process here. You put the iron in the pulverizer. Turn on the engine. The pulverizer turns it into iron dust and it will go automatically into the electric furnace provided it doesn't spit out something odd with it. Uh, it must have... No? Usually it goes straight down. Anyway. So the pulverizer makes the iron dust. Now for every one ore, it makes two dust. That's why I like the pulverizer more than these things. These things give you iron and stone, but they don't give you two iron. Or at least they don't always give you two iron. The pulverizer always gives you two iron. And then the electric furnace takes care of the iron. So now we should have enough iron to make an anvil. Not one. Bars. And it's three blocks of iron. And four bars of iron. And I'm not going to compress the rest of it this time. Because I need iron bars. Anvil. I'm sure this is not exactly a tutorial type thing because I'm pretty sure everybody knows all the basics of Minecraft. If you're watching me, you pretty much know what you're doing, I assume. I don't have any green sapphires to repair. 
repair anything. Crappy. But that's fine. I don't actually need to repair this stuff. While everything is cooking, let's go ahead and turn... We're going to leave the wood behind. Cobble cannot be destroyed by ghasts, so I'm going to take cobble with me. And I'm going to build to the fortress. I have my bread. Iron. Sticks. Oh, that's what I need to make. Okay, so the reason you want string. You want string and sticks, my friends. I have discovered the greatest thing, okay? Here's the greatest thing. Backpacks. Back. These are backpacks that... I don't know how to use them all. They, they're they like specific. Like Trackman's I think only takes rails. <clears throat> Iceman's only takes ice and snow. Stuff like that. They're like specific. But. Is it bag? Yeah. Bags. Okay. I have no idea how to make these, the alchemical bags, or the bag of holding. I can't make that yet. I, I, I don't even know. How do you make a dark iron ingot? Come on. Anyway. But I can make a canvas bag because I can make canvas. It's just string and sticks. So string... And a stick makes a canvas, right? And you need eight canvas. Which I may not have enough string for now that I look at it. Six. Damn. Okay. Well, it was a thought. And and that's why I have had my stuff growing here to try and make string. Um, twine, I have discovered, makes string. So one leaf makes one twine, four twine make one string. That sucks. I can make one more canvas. Because uh, flax just gives you string. So the henequen, the henequen stuff, worthless. Go for flax. Flax all the way. Oh, somebody died. Yay, death. Um, wheat, wheat to make bread, wheat to capture innocent animals. I told you I was going to start building. Yes, building, building all of the things. I am not a great builder. That's, that's not my forte in Minecraft. My forte in Minecraft is dying horribly in lava. You ever want somebody to die horribly in lava? That's me. Um, I put it away. Mm, flowers. So yeah, so building's not my forte. I'm going to try, you're going to laugh at me. That's just how it goes. Bones. Actually, let's um, 
let's just go ahead and make a ton of bread so that I can survive. <laughs> like I'm really going to survive. There we go. So lots of bread, lots of seeds, and the seeds are now worthless. Bye bye. Because you won't grow down here! Stupid seeds. <sighs> Creepers. Um, another thing. Like Ren Fairs? I love Ren Fairs, but not because of the realism. There is nothing real about Ren Fairs, okay? If you're really in Renaissance times, one, you would be a peasant, okay? Two, you'd probably have the plague. And I'm not saying you'd have the bubonic plague, but you'd have something, some sort of disease. If not a venereal disease, then some disease, malnutrition, something. Because, you know, health and hygiene, not the most important things back then. You would wear maybe one set of clothes as long as you lived. Two, if you had money, you would not be a lord. Chances are you would not be a lord, okay? Um, you'd be a peasant, peasant. And your life would suck. Ren fairs are not about realism. Ren fairs are awesome because they are not about realism. Okay. It was over this way. Ren fairs are all about escape. Okay? Escaping from reality. Yeah. So up here somewhere. And, and I appreciate escaping from reality as much as the next person. I really do. Okay? I like escaping from reality. Reality sucks. But it's when people take rent fairs seriously that I, that I get bothered. You can't take it seriously. It's not serious. It is not meant to be a serious thing. It can't be taken seriously. It is not reality. Go there, have fun, eat turkey legs, which are, you know, turkeys come from America and they didn't have the Americas back then. So, yeah. You know, it's, it's fun. Just go and have fun. That's fine. But perpetuating a notion that times were better in the past. Times have almost never been better in the past. Anyone's telling you about the good old days? Uh, ask him about dysentery. Ask him about, you know, black lung. Which actually we still have. Ask him about... Oh, uh, child labor laws. Slavery. The nine day work week. Okay. There was never the good old days. I am a futurist. Catch that reference, kids. Um, hmm. Another thing that's been on my mind, because I am of the internet, has been the Avengers. I absolutely love the Avengers. And I'm not stuffy. I like, I like all of them. I like the comics. And I like the videos. Though I haven't seen all of the videos. I like that there are videos. Mostly I like Iron Man. Iron Man 
Robert Downey Jr. Huge crush. He is so adorable. Yes, that is that is a thing, ladies and gentlemen. Adorkable. Okay. Adorkable bad definition is a slang term for someone who is Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh wow, all my stuff is still here. Not that I need all of it, but... Wow. Um, some of it I would like. Can I get rid of... Uh, get rid of that. Oh! Who's hitting me? Go away, go away, go away, go away! Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh, string! String! I want string! Nether copper, soul sand, netherrack. Be gone. Be gone. String. Give me my string. I can't believe all my stuff is still here. It's been ages. Not all my stuff, apparently. Some of my stuff. You! Go away! Fall into lava and die. Okay. Blaze! Charge! Die! 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 You die! 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 